Hey, this is Nyako. Welcome to Obey Studios. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this nice text behind image and image behind text that you do see a lot on so many other websites when you go to awards.com. So I'm going to show you how to create it using motion page and also how to create it using Elementor. I'm going to do the motion page first. And after that, we're going to try and also achieve that in Elementor. Let's get in. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new page. So let's call this page text behind behind the image and then let's publish it and then edit with Elementor. All right, so I'm going to make this uh, page a canvas because I don't want the header or the footer. So I'm going to create that. So now we have a really blank canvas where we're going to create what we want to create. So the first thing that we're going to create is using motion page. So um, it's really a straightforward design. We're going to have um, first, we're going to give this um, full width. So to cover the entire width, the next thing to do is the height. Let me give this like 1920 first. Yeah, now I'm just giving like a bigger height. Now I'll fix that later. But this is how it's going to look. The next thing that we're going to do is to put in uh, element. So we have four texts. So text number one, let's go in, let's say, uh, find me. Oh, let's put the text that we put out. So where, so that's the first time I'm just going to click on the container again and center written by clicking on items. And then over here in the alignment, we want everything to be centered. All right, cool. And then we're going to also bring everything into the middle by justifying the content to also center. As I said, I'm going to fix that the height later. So this, and then let's go to style and then give this, um, probably 1250 It's cool. And the transform, let's make this uppercase. Okay. I think that should work. So that's the first thing I'm just going to reduce the line height a little to like 250. Uh, 250 is probably not, um, let's say 200. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna leave that at 200. The next thing to do is to add uh, the other text. So this one's gonna say design where, um, let's say WP, where WP design, and then go to style and then change this one to um, play fair. All right, and then change from 600 to 100. This I'm gonna change the, the type to Gotham. All right. So after that, I'm going to duplicate this, put this underneath this one. So where WP design meets and then also duplicate this art. All right. So this is our text. The next thing I'm going to do is to add an image on top. So let's say add an image over here and then let's choose our image. I'm going to choose this. All right. So there's the image, this kind of full width and then go to style and I'm going to change the, the entire, I'm going to choose pixel and then the width, I'm going to give it to uh, 520 and then the height, I'm going to give it 650. And then let's change the object fit from default to, I think cover. Yes. All right. So that is that. Um, the next thing I want to do is to change the background background color should be something more like charcoal. All right. I'm going to change the color also here to a white copy this and then paste it on the other ones and then change this one also to a white. All right. That's good. Um, the next thing is to give, give a bit of space around it. So I clicked on a container and then went back into layout. And then within the layer, I'm going to click on items. You should see 20 over here. I'm going to give this one like a 40. You give it a bit more space around it. All right. So this is uh, um, the first one uh, that we're doing. I'm going to change this one, the color of this one. Uh, use, using the clicking on the image and going to style with the CSS filter. I'm going to make this a gray scale. So remove the saturation. And let's do a little bit of this. Give it a bit of contrast and then Reduce the brightness. All right, that's fine. Nothing too much. 
Okay, so this, um, I'm going to give the height a bit more, probably 750. All right. So this is um, the first part. And then update this. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is to give everything over here a class. So click on the image and give this class image one. And then go here and go to advance. So I'm going to give this one a class of where make it simple and I give it a one. So I'm going to give this one a class of WPD one and then give this one also a class of me one and then art. I'm going to give this one class of arts one. All right. So probably um, I went through this fast. Uh, you might not have cached it, but if you want to give it a class, you click on the element and then go to advance and then down here you should see class. And also, probably I didn't also mention that, but we are using containers. So um, if you haven't, if you don't know what containers are, you might want to watch some of my other uh, previous videos. But I'm using containers to do this. So you need, um, you don't really need containers. You can still use the, the columns to do that. You just need to lay out your items like this. Uh, all right. So there's the first part and we are done with the design. What I'm going to do is so that I'll be able to scroll for you to see. So I'm going to add another container. And then this container, I'm going to give it um, also a height of 10, 1080, change the color to this accent color and then just update that. All right, so I'll be able to scroll for you to see um, the effect. So this is the first part. The next thing that we're going to do is head straight into motion page to be able to do that. So let's exit from here, go to WP, and then go to motion page. All right, so here we're going to create a new timeline. If you haven't, if you don't know how to use motion page, you might want to watch some of my other videos that I'm going to link down below. But for you to start designing, you need to create a new timeline for the page. So I'm going to click on new timeline. All right. So these are um, old pages. I'm going to go and then look for the one that I just created, which is called text behind image. All right. So the page has been loaded. The next thing I'm going to do is to give this timeline a name. So let's give it a name called pin. Now, um, the next thing to do is uh, we're going to start doing the design. So I'm going to choose scroll trigger. All right. So the, the reason why we need scroll trigger is that when we are scrolling down, we want the effect to happen. We don't want the effect to happen as soon as we um, open the, the browser. So here, when we start, I want to finish design. And when I start scrolling, say so that image is going to follow the scroll. So after choosing scroll trigger, you want to lock the scroll. You want to lock it to the scroll bar. So that is one. I'm going to remove the delay because I don't want it to delay. So I'm going to remove that. That, oh, no, that wasn't intentional. So that one removed. The next thing to do is to pin this element. So the image element, we want to pin it down so that the rest of the element will just scroll bypass it. And at a certain point, it will also start moving um, up. So I'm going to save this. So our timeline has been saved. The next thing I'm going to do is here when they have um, when they say add spacing, uh, let me go back into the, the builder, right? Go back. Uh, let me go here and then go back over here and then let's look for the page. I think that's the page. All right. So this image. It's called image one. I'm going to show you how it works. All right. So we don't want any margin. When we add margin, I'm going to, I'm going to remove it first and then I'm going to go down also over here. Uh, we don't want to toggle that. So we're going to leave it. So the next thing that we're going to do is to add the class name. So a class and then the, um, so we put the period and then the name of the class, which is that. All right. So as soon as we, oh, we just added the class name, you can see that the image has not gone to the bottom. It has been pinned to the bottom of the of the container, which is not what we want. We want it to be at the top. So the next thing we're going to do is to this scroll. Um, 
based on this start, so we want it to start at zero. So when it start at zero, it means it to be at the top of the container rather than it being at the bottom of the container. So this is going to look like. All right, so I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go back into the design, which is here and then click back on this because we want this to be on top when this one gets over there. So we're going to give this a Z index, click on it, go to advanced and then Z index of two, give this one a Z index of one and then let's save that then go back into motion page refresh this so as you can see when you start scrolling it sticks to the top and then you scroll down like that but as you can see when it gets to this meet it stops that is what we want to fix by making sure that the end is not that the end is a bit more down Okay, so you don't want to bypass that yet. Okay, let's take it a bit up. All right, so and then let's save that. So the start is at zero and the end is at negative 24. So when you scroll, it goes like that. So it scrolls, it gets behind that image because of the Z index, it comes down and then when it gets here, it stops and you start scrolling up and both everything in that container start moving away. So that is how you create that cool effect using motion page. So there's the first part. The second part, I'm going to show you how to do that using just Elementor without having any form um, of plugin to do that apart from Elementor. So let's go back into the design and then I'm going to show you how to do that using just Elementor. So go back into our design and I'm going to duplicate this. All right, so there's a duplicate. Um, so down below here, I'm going to remove the classes so that it to be easier to do that. All right, cool. Then I'm going to preview this. All right, so the first part, this one that we see now is the one that we use motion page, the, the top one, the one that we use motion page to create. The bottom one, you can see that it's not working because we removed the class that is going to trigger the pen. All right, so I'm going to show you how to use um, just Elementor to do this. So there's a second one. So what um, the idea behind this is that you want this one to stick to the top, and then you also want this one to be on top of it when it's scrolling down. So remember, we already gave this one a, um, a Z index of two, and then this one has a Z index of one. The rest of them are on the, the same Z index as the either on the zero plane. Okay, so we want to click on the image because we want the image to be stick to the top. So we click on the image and then we go to motion effect by clicking on the advanced and then clicking on motion effect. In the motion effect, what we want to do is sticky and then say top. Nice. So after doing that, I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to add another. Okay, there's already another container here, but I'm going to scroll down and you're going to see what happens when you start scrolling down. So as you can see, this image has now stick to the top and it is not going when the container scrolls up. It doesn't follow the container, which is not what we want. We want it to go with the container. So for you to for you to achieve that, what we want to do is to click back on the image and then go back to motion effect in motion effect. You want to say that, Oh, um, you want this, this sticky to stick to the column. You don't want it to go away from the column. Um, when containers become a thin, I, I believe this can change from column to container, but you want it to be in the container or the column that it is in. You don't want it to go to a different column. So now that we have updated that, I'm just going to go and start scrolling. You see now it sticks to the container and then goes away when it is time for it to go. So this is how you achieve this very cool 3D, 2D effect using just Elemental or also using just Motion Page. Hey, I hope um, this was informative. As I said, I have opened a new Facebook group. Um, if you want to connect with me, if you want to ask me more questions, if you want to be part of um, a new family that I'm trying to build in a, a new community, you can 
click on the link in the description. It will take you to my Facebook page, Facebook group, and then you'll be able to request to be added to the group. Hope this tutorial was informative and I would like to see how you also implement this in your own designs and what else you can do with something like this. As always, this is Nyako. Thank you for watching the video from OB Studios.